All right, kids, today I want to show you a problem that tends to mess with people quite a bit when they first start learning about force. And that is this thing right here. You see, I've got two sets of two Newton weights hanging off the edge of some strings. And the question is, what's the reading on the spring scale? You see, to simplify things, if I've got two Newtons hanging right here from a spring scale, the spring scale is going to read two Newtons. If this spring scale is holding up two Newtons right here, this one's also going to read two Newtons. So if this is holding up four newtons of weight, shouldn't it read four newtons? See, it doesn't. It only reads two. And let me explain why. You see, in this situation, the net force on this weight right here is zero. That is to say the two newtons downward by gravity are counteracted by the two newtons upward by the spring scale, or really the string attached to that weight attached to the spring scale. Moving to this one, we've got a similar situation, except that string has been run up over a pulley, so our spring scale can lay flat. But the issue in this whole problem, and in understanding why this only reads two newtons, not four, has to do with this little bracket right here. You see, the spring scale isn't moving, which means the spring scale has a net force of zero. Now in this situation, if this weight right here and the string attached to it is pulling to the left on the spring scale, then this bracket has to be pulling to the right in equal amount. So if there's two newtons of pull to the left, that means there's going to be two newtons of pull to the right from this bracket. Now looking at this situation, imagine I was to cover up what's happening on the right-hand side of this problem. So you could only see just the spring scale with the weight hanging. Well, ultimately, there's no way to discern the difference between this situation and this situation. The spring scale is holding up two newtons here and holding up two newtons here. It's only in moving the book that we see the spring scale is being held in place not by a bracket like right here, but rather by a hanging weight over here, balancing out the forces on the spring scale so it doesn't accelerate. I don't care what it is that's pulling this spring scale that way, whether it's a bracket or another hanging weight. There's only two newtons of force in the spring scale, which means it only reads two newtons. So I hope you found this useful. And on that note, that's all for now.